Alright, sorry about the darkness. I got an acoustical something playing in the background and probably don't really hear it, but this is my afternoon um, reading. I've been away for a week for doing that. Um, I have some issues going on. I gotta make a phone call soon, which I'm, oh boy, really terrified about. But um, I picked Zechariah because this is one of the minor prophets, and we talked in my church about um, this book a while back. I'm just reading from the first chapter. Um, yeah, I have a lot of stuff in it. Um, so I have a lot of notes and things pulled out of my phone book. My book, whatever, phone book. Well, that does look like a phone book right there because it's actually a um, thing. Well, hold on. There we go. It's a God's Yellow Pages. So it has, like, different things on it. Um, yeah, if anybody... Just like things like that. But that's a handy little thing I have. Alright, sorry about the shakiness. So, this about the prophet Zechariah brought his messages to the returned exiles of Judah, uh, beginning in the second year of King Darius of Persia, which was from 520 BC. There's two main parts in this. Um, contains two sequences of prophecies, primarily in the form of symbolic vision reports. The second part is made up mostly of poetic oracles concerning with the nations, um, or concerned with the nation's leaders. So it's talking about like a general call to repentance. Um, Zechariah recorded a series of eight visions, um, talking about rebuilding a temple, stuff like that. So, chapter 1. In the eighth month of the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Zechariah, son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo. The Lord was very angry with your ancestors. Therefore, tell the people, this is what the Lord Almighty says, return to me. I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. Do not be like your ancestors to whom the earlier prophets proclaimed, this is what the Lord Almighty says. Turn from your evil ways and your evil practices. But they would not listen or pay attention to me, declares the Lord. Where are your ancestors now? And the prophets, do they live forever? But did not my words and my decrees, which I commanded my servants, the prophets, overtake your ancestors? Then they repented and said, The Lord Almighty has done to us what our ways and practices deserve, just as he determined to do. On the 24th day of the 11th month, the month of Shabbat, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to the prophet Zechariah, son of Berechiah, the son of Iddo. During the night I had a vision, and there before me was a man mounted on a red horse. He was standing among the myrtle trees in a ravine. Behind him were red, brown, and white horses. I asked, What are these, my lord? The angel who was talking to me answered, I will show you what they are. The man standing among the myrtle trees explained, They are the ones the Lord has sent to go throughout the earth. And they reported to the angel of the Lord who was standing among the myrtle trees, We have gone throughout the earth and found the whole world at rest and in peace. Then the angel of the Lord said, Lord Almighty, how long will you withhold mercy from Jerusalem and from the town of Judah, from which you have been angry with these seventy years? So the Lord spoke kind and comforting words to the angel who talked with me. The angel who was speaking to me said, proclaim this word. This is what the Lord Almighty says. I am very jealous for Jerusalem and Zion. And I'm very angry with the nations that feel secure. I was only a little angry, but they went too far with the punishment. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I will return to Jerusalem with mercy and there my house will be rebuilt and the measuring line will be stretched out over Jerusalem declares the Lord Almighty. Proclaim further, this is what the Lord Almighty says, My towns will again overflow with prosperity, and the Lord will again comfort Zion and choose Jerusalem. I looked up, and there before me were four horns. I asked the angel who was speaking to me, What are these? He answered me, These are the horns that scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four craftsmen. I asked, What are these coming to do? He answered, These are the horns that scattered Judah so that no one could 
raise their head, but the craftsmen have come to terrify them and throw down the horns of the nations who lifted up their horns against the land of Judah to scatter its people. So, you know, this, there could be a town or nation or whatever people you know that's like Judah, and there could be, you know, these other nations um, they talked about. You, maybe you know of a place that that represents, um, and just how, you know, if we turn away from the Lord, that, you know, that's really not what he wants for us. Um, I'll just leave this image here with you. Um, it's talking about Christian virtues and characters. Oops. Um, citizenship. These are like some of the... Oops, hold on. If I can get that right here. Talks about how to have faith, you know, being faithful, um, duty. It's from Luke and Timothy, for example. But and then it talks about, you know, reading the Bible, righteousness. And there you go.